Well, she has spent nearly two decades evaluating basketball talent, and this spring she did the same thing, only with a significantly different twist. Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports. Bill? Well, thanks, Gary. And after building the Indiana Fever into one of the NBA, WNBA's best franchises, Kelly Kroskoff last December made history by joining the Indiana Pacers as the NBA's first assistant female general manager. And now, fresh from her first w NBA draft, she joins us on the program. And Kelly, oh, great to have you on the show. Uh, has it been a, a, a real sea change for you going from looking at female college uh, talent to, to the males? Well, there, there's, there's a few differences, obviously, but uh, I'll say that, you know, the, the change has been um, familiar because there's there's so much familiar about obviously the process of what you do when you're evaluating talent but joining the Pacers was like you know rejoining my family in a sense because I knew everyone and and we're certainly working in the NBA side is is different in the sense I don't have the same context as, as the guys have had all these years but but the, it's it's really the same I mean there's so much similarities that that um, the difference is I don't have the context of the of the years of, of you know watching these guys play and, and certainly all the backgrounds but um, yeah it's been a great you know six months in some ways it's felt longer in some ways it's felt shorter but uh, it's been it's been wonderful so far in, in general what what, what are, is your role and your, your responsibility yeah so obviously you know in management you're first and foremost is evaluating talent you know we're you're putting together the roster you're part of the management team with Kevin Pritchard Chad Buchanan and Peter Dinwiddie in terms of putting together the rosters um, constantly looking at ways to, to make our roster better, which is you know what I, I did all those years for the for the Fever, um, and as well as um, working in our player development area, um, Karen Atkinson who runs that area for us and, and um, overseeing the experiences for the guys when they're here, and then um, being sort of a conduit for the player marketing as well. So, um, but but first and foremost, really you know evaluating talent and how can we you know how can we get better and how can we make this a destination market for a lot of free agents. Well, and. And uh, you did make it a destination market uh, in the recent uh, NBA draft. Uh, Goga Batadze uh, from, uh, from Europe, been a 19 year old, but played three years in the EuroLeague from Georgia. Uh, and I, we understand, we were told that the reporting was that there was genuine elation when he fell very to the much pieces. very much so and in fact uh, you know before we picked we we you know made some attempts to try to move up because we really felt like he, he was not going to be there at 18 and I know sometimes you hear teams say that but but it's really the truth we had him as high as I think 11 on our board um, he's a 611 center that that is so multi-dimensional and he's been playing against pros since he was 16 so he's a top year league player um, he's very mature in many ways, but will have a lot of room to grow in terms of his experience level of playing against pros in, in Europe. And, and he just, um, he's delightful. He's got a great personality. He's a team guy. Um, really enjoyed the chance to, to meet him when he came in for this press conference. Um, we were thrilled and elated and, and certainly the most talented player that we could get at 18 um, truly was, was Goga. And Kevin Pritchard made it clear very quickly that Miles Turner and Domas Sabonis aren't going anywhere, that these three hey, guys are going you know, to fit together. Look, the game's gotten bigger, you know, and, and, and hit the, what he can do is he can st spread the floor. You know, he can shoot the three easily, very easily, as well as, you know, 85% of his shots are either or the three-point shot or, or, you know, right there in the paint. So, I mean, he he is a, um, a, a tremendous talent, and you can never have too many bigs on your team. Um, and it gives us a lot of flexibility in, in terms of how to play those three. Kelly, uh, as we wrap up, important dates coming up. Uh, free agency starts with, with negotiations, free agent signings shortly thereafter, yeah. and then also the summer camp in Las Vegas. Right. So free agency, really, you can start the negotiating process June 30th, you know, this weekend, coming weekend, and um, uh, start signing players July 6th. So, you know, if you, um, we, we hope to be, you know, very active and plan to be very active. And then, then after that is uh, the summer league. So we'll field a team and, and have a team out in Las Vegas competing. Some of the young guys will be out there. And it's a great time to see young talent, not only just with our team, but with other teams. Well, Kelly Kroskoff, again, the NBA's first female assistant general manager. It's great to have you on the program. Thanks. Wish Glad you to be here. nothing but the best going Thank you. forward. Gary, back to you.